Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Mini DV tapes. Let's do that again. Mini DV tapes. Now, I've got a job here. This is all shot in the Philippines, it looks like. Now, um, these blocky things, you know, this comes from dirty heads, etc. But sometimes it's from defective tapes. Now, I've run the head cleaner through it multiple times because everything is just coming through good right here. But then if I fast forward it, and it's all, you know, music. And then look, it just goes to this. So this is a problem with the camcorder back in the day. The audio, that kind of... This is... And what you can sometimes tell, sometimes it might clear up, but this one has been giving me nothing but issues. But you can tell sometimes, well, the tape looks pretty good. Sometimes there's like crease marks in there and it, like where the tape has just been stuck in the camcorder for years with heat, humidity, and being these are you know, been shot in the Philippines, possibly stored in the Philippines, which is heat and humidity, which are the killers of all this magnetic tape, especially... Yeah. This is just, is what it is. Like, you can't recreate that if you try. Additionally, what you can do is put it in another player and if you're doing this yourself, like I say, you've got to have, uh, you know, multiple players to cross-reference all this, all these old problematic, well, any, even if you've got well-behaved tapes, still see if you can recreate the issue. Yeah, it's still coming through. So look. Yeah, it's exactly the same issue. So this was the problem with the camcorder. There is absolutely nothing you can do with that. So I'm just going to let that roll. That one is going to be one of the rare ones I can't restore. Um, it's better than nothing, you know. I'm just going to hand it back and, and it's, it's excruciating uh, sounds and everything like that. But everything else has been going well. Um, uh, well, <laughs> don't speak too soon. And then when you see blue screen, you do not assume that the tape is done. With all these mini DVs, you have to scrub back to the last few frames and listen for choppy audio and pixelation of bars across the screen. And wait, you gotta, this is essential with mini DV and digital eight to make sure it's not crapping out because that blue screen could be because it's got dirty heads. So the telltale sign that you've got dirty heads at the end of the tape is it's giving this blocky, pixelated crap. Let's have a look here. Yeah. So, yeah. Whoops, whoops, whoops. There you go. Boom. Clean. Done. Yeah, so you've got to check that. Telltale sign on blue screen uh, with mini DV. Especially if, it, if it's all the way to the end of the tape, 63 minutes for SP, Aaron, 34 for LP, then, you know, it's all good. And you still got to check the file for all the pixelation, audio issues, all that kind of stuff. And if there are issues, you have to redo the tape or at least portions of that tape. Cue it back, find it. It's a re-piecing together um, of all of this stuff. But if you've got these problems, you're going to need head cleaners, different, you know, multiple players, little screwdrivers, fixing stuff, isopropyl, acetone, all these different things, which I got, I got on the channel. If you're looking for someone to do this, you're gonna make sure they got all this stuff. Insanely good Google reviews, YouTube content, all that kind of stuff. Otherwise, you're gonna be getting crap back. Um, so gotmemories.com if you would like a quote, if you're looking for all this cheap $10, $20 retape stuff with all these problems, no, forget it. Um, it is time consuming and all of these prices you see online are fake pricing. It's all a load of crap this day and age because there's so many problems with them and no one is addressing the problem. So um, anyway, loads more videos on mini DV in the channel. Got memories, mini DV, all that stuff. So anyway, cheers.